Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today we're gonna to answer the question, how do you create a new document and a new folder in Google Docs? It's super simple. There's two or three ways to, sh to create the document and or the folder. I'm gonna show you how right now, all of the different ways. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with this tutorial on what is Google Docs, how to use Google Docs. Let's start out by just differentiating the difference between Google Drive and Google Docs. Google Drive is basically like iCloud for Google. It's a place to store all of your files, pictures, videos, uh, documents, any digital asset essentially you can store on Google Drive. You also can access any of the Google apps in Google Drive. And then Google Docs is specifically the word processor. It's Google's version of Microsoft Word, okay? And it's very similar to Microsoft Word. So I usually go to drive.google.com, or if I'm on a, a device, then I use like an iPhone or a, or a tablet, I use the Google Drive's app or the Docs app, okay? So you can either go to drive.google.com to get started, or today's tutorial is actually about Google Docs specifically, the word processor. So you can go to docs.google.com. All you need is a computer. You can also do this on a phone, but I'm showing it to you on a computer. But all you need is a computer or a phone. Or You need internet access and you need a Google account. That's it. Internet access, a Google account, and some kind of a device. In this demonstration, I'm showing you on a desktop computer, okay? All right, so if you start in my drive or in Google Drive, drive.google.com, over to the side, you can click this and you can see all of your files and folders. I organize mine into folders for different subjects. And if you click new, you can start a new file using any of Google's apps. There's a whole bunch of them. Today's tutorial is about Google Docs. So I would start a new Google Doc by clicking Google Docs or if I'm in Google Docs, I would just click blank. Oh, by the way, if you do it from Google Docs, you can choose templates. There's different templates that you may want to use for a resume or for a letter or for whatever. But I start a new blank document like that. Now we're in Google Docs. So, so far you've learned the difference between Google Drive and Google Docs, and you've also learned how to create your first Google document, all right? Your first Microsoft Word, but the Google version. That's two ways to start a new document in Google Docs. There's actually a third way. I'm gonna show you how to, I can't do that. Third, third, third. There's a third way. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Next, you've got your file tab. What does the file tab do? It does a few things, all right? So if you click on file, if you've ever used Microsoft Word, it's almost identical. New. That's where you create a new document, or you can make one from one of the templates. Remember, we showed you there's different templates. Either do a blank document or a template document. All right, now, first thing you typically want to do is name it. See this? All brand new docs will be called Untitled Document. Click on that. It should highlight it all blue, and name it what you want to call it. I'll just call mine Test Document. All right? You can star it, making it a favorite. That's what that does. Making it a favorite simply puts it in a um, easy to find. You can click on favorites when you're in Google Drives and find that document easy. I'll show you real quick how you find your starred or your favorited documents. Come back to Google Drive, click on starred, and it will take you to what you've marked as, as a favorite. So the test document is a favorite, okay? Now, one thing that's cool about Google Drive, how do you save? One thing I got in the habit of as a kid was constantly saving my files because computers used to crash a lot. Sometimes they still do. If that happens, you lose your work up to that point. Well, the beauty of doing online uh, content editing with Google Docs is that it auto-saves. So you see right there that checkbox? That means it auto-saves. It also auto-saves different a history of it. So if you ever mess up a document really bad, you can go back to two days ago before you made those mistakes and find the old version and start over from there, which is pretty cool. 
I'll show you how to do that in another video. All right. And by the way, always check back. This is just a brief overview of what every button does in Google Docs. But always check back. There's a link to a playlist specifically about Google Docs. Any future content that I make regarding Google Docs will show up in that playlist and you can learn more in-depth things. Okay. This button right here is important. So you've got the C document status that's going to tell you if it's been saved. All changes saved to drive. That means it's up to date. Okay. This here is how you stay organized. You can move this to any of your existing folders or you can create a brand new folder. I'll call one Teach Mom How. And you can click checkbox, create the folder and move it here. That keeps you organized so it doesn't become messy in um, your Google Drive and you don't know where anything's at. Like I'm actually super disorganized right now. I need to go through and get things in the proper folders. So that, moms and guys and gals and whoever's watching this, that is how you keep organized. That's how you create a folder to save your files in. Just like on a desktop, you might make a folder to save uh, documents about certain subjects. You do that right there, okay? There's another way you can make a folder to organize your things in. You can come here and click add in Google Drive is where I'm at. Add new folder and make a new folder. So this is if you did it after the fact. You could come here and make a new folder. And then you can move any of these files that aren't in the proper folders into the folders you want them to. I'll do a full tutorial on getting organized in Google Drive. But now you know how to create a new folder to save your files into the appropriate folder. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. My goal here started out was to create videos that would teach my mom how to use technology. And it spun into this YouTube channel. So I appreciate your support. Please subscribe. Please like this video. And most importantly, ask a question. I always get around to answering these questions. And if possible, I do it in the form of a video specifically to your question. So ask questions. Have a great day.